Nola Jen here at Los Ponchos. Get something here? Yeah. Welcome to Nola Jen. Let the good times roll. In this episode of our New Orleans Travel Vlog, we're in the New Orleans suburb of Terrytown on the west bank of the Mississippi River for some authentic Mexican food as we visit Los Ponchos Mexican Restaurant for our New Orleans Best Mexican Food Review videos. Los Ponchos Mexican Restaurant is located in Terrytown at 445 Terry Parkway, which is about 11 minutes and 6 miles away from the French Quarter. Los Ponchos is one of New Orleans' more authentic Mexican food options with great lunch specials along with fun happy hours. So let's go ahead and head on inside here and check this place out. So when you first walk in, you're greeted with their bar area and I never got a drink menu, but you're immediately greeted by their beer selection and they have a blackboard menu of all their different drink specials. So this is where you're going to find out about all the drink items and also some new food items. This is certainly a festive looking bar area and they have a lot of great drinks on display that will tempt you to get a drink. And they certainly have a great bucket of beer here I'd like to take home. So as we look around and see all the great items in here, they're definitely very festive throughout this entire restaurant. So they certainly have a great amount of fun decorations making this a really bright and vibrant area. So you can see they've got some booth seating, table seating, and a whole lot of bright, festive colors all over the place in here. It's like Cinco de Mayo every day. Look at this. And so there's just decorations everywhere, and it really makes for a bright, fun environment, and it's very vibrant in here. But we're going to go ahead and start out with the free chips and salsa they gave us. Let's go ahead and sample this. Ooh, so the chips seem fresh and crunchy. And as we go into the salsa, the salsa looks nice and thick. It's not runny at all. I hate a runny salsa, so this is doing very nicely. Good flavors and a nice spice level. And we've got a little queso. You have to buy the queso, so we'll sample this. Hmm, all right, so the queso. It is sticking decently, so I've seen thicker and I've seen thinner, so this seems to be about a medium queso. Good flavors there. Well, let's take a look at their menu here. They have some really great items in this. So we have appetizers with an El Patusi nachos, regular nachos, nacho supreme, chicken wings, sample platter, shrimp cocktail, ceviche mexicano, from the sea tostados, cheese fries, steak and cheese fries, we have taco salads, grilled chicken taco salad, pita taco salad, taco salad and guacamole salad. We have Mexican enchiladas with enchiladas rancheras, enchiladas verdes, enchiladas supreme, shrimp enchiladas, and enchiladas emolotas. Then we have burritos with burrito a la parrela, burrito supreme, chile relleno burrito, Breaded beef, chicken, or ground beef burrito, vegetarian burrito, California burrito, Mashaka burrito, Louisiana burrito, bean and cheese burrito. Then we have a kids menu. Then we have the caldos, all these great soups. So caldo de res, menudo, sopa de marisco, seafood soup, tacos, tacos, and more tacos. With your choice of steak, pork, chicken, ground beef, Breaded chicken, Mexican sausage, mushrooms, cow tongue, goat meat, shrimp, and fish. Then we have roll tacos, taquitos, orders of three, chicken or beef, and tortas, sandwiches. Next, we have a great assortment of different combinations, so you can sample a little bit of different items. They have a mocajete las panchos style, which is also a really interesting dish with steak, grilled chicken, shrimp, smoked sausage, and green onions. Topped with a green sauce, queso, fresco, grilled jalapenos, Monterey cheese, served with rice, beans, guacamole, salad, and tortillas in a huge bowl. That's a really interesting dish. Then we have quesadillas, uh, steak, grilled chicken, abadobo, pork, shredded pork, cow tongue, shredded beef, chicken, or beef, and shrimp. Then we have fajitas of numerous types, and then tostadas with your choice of meat. Then we have Mexican dishes, and I'll butcher all the pronunciations with mojera frita, 
Bisteca la Tepequena, Bisteca la Mexicana, Carnitas Plate, Campurions a la Diabla, Carne Asada, Palo Asada Plate, Mejita Burrito, Fried Chimichanga, Los Panchos Chimichanga, Fried Milanese, Camarones, Empanazados, Pascadito Rojo, T-Bone Steak, and then we have a la carte extras and dips. Then we have their lunch menu, which they offer seven days a week, which is really great as most places don't do that. So they have a great selection of lunch options here to check out. So I decided to do something a little bit different. I got the caldo de res beef soup, and this is a huge bowl of beef soup and huge chunks of meat, great big pieces of amazing goodness with some great huge vegetables look at these potatoes and carrots and i believe there's some cabbage and some other vegetables in here so this is definitely going to be a challenge to get all of this food in my belly is this is a huge serving there's some celery there oh my goodness look at this all sorts of great stuff in here Hey, look at this. This looks like a really beautiful piece of meat. So, mmm, good flavors. It's uh, got some nice tenderness to it. And let's get a little of this potato here. Ooh, so the broth here has got lots of flavor going on. Oh, this is a very nice dish. So a lot of the uh, Mexican soups are very hearty, have lots of good flavors, and they're typically served in a nice big bowl like this. So this is... Uh, very nice for when you're hungry and want to get a nice serving. Ooh, look at this carrot. That's a huge piece of carrot. Oh my goodness. So, uh, ooh, this stuff's really hot too. This stuff is just piping hot. It's the middle of summer still in New Orleans. This would probably be a better dish on a cold winter's day. As cold as New Orleans gets, uh, like maybe the uh, two weeks of cold weather we get. All right, another good piece of meat. Ooh, goodness. So every uh, piece of meat, there's uh, a lot of tenderness. There are a few little tough edges here and there, uh, depending on the cut of meat. But generally, it's pretty nice and tender with just a little bit of chewiness now and again from certain parts. So you really get a good selection of different cuts of meat in here, which makes for a good contrast. So each bite's a little different depending on the cut of meat that you get. And I really am enjoying each and every bite. So there's just a lot of uh, good stuff going on here. Each and every bite has a little bit different flavor depending on the cut of meat that I'm getting and the combination of vegetables. And there's lots of just wonderful combinations of flavors in the broth. So everything's really flavorful. And it looks like a simple dish, but it's got a lot of layers of complexity in it because there's so many pieces and parts going on. So there's certainly interesting stuff with, oh goodness, like big chunks of celery with a little cabbage hanging on. And then we've got beef rib in here along with other pieces of beef that are from all different cuts of meat that make for various textures and flavors and it just really adds to the whole overall experience to make every bite very different and interesting. So it's an adventure with each and every bite. You never know exactly what you're gonna get, what's gonna come out of the soup next. So it really is fun as you get in here and start eating because each piece of meat has its own unique little texture. Each vegetable, you don't know how little or tiny it's gonna be or how huge and massive it's gonna be. So every bite is unique in its own way. There is certainly nothing standardized about it. It's very interesting. It's uh, very much like a caveman rustic kind of stew. And uh, definitely I like the way that it's set up. It's all tasty to me, so I'm enjoying it. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to finish this whole thing though. I'm already kind of getting full, so ooh, ooh, ooh. Every spoonful is getting me so much more full. And it's definitely going to be a challenge to finish this. I'm thinking I might not finish all of this. There's so much. Comment below. Let me know if you think I can polish off this whole huge bowl of super not. Oh my goodness. There's just so much food in here. And they really pack a lot of meat in here. I'm really surprised at what a huge amount of meat I've got.
not. Okay, this is the last bite I can handle, and I finished most of it, but not all of it. But I mostly destroyed it, so go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below, let me know what you thought about this beef stew. And while you're down there, check out the link to my Patreon account, because hey, I work for Tips, and I appreciate any help with that. I couldn't finish the rice or the tortillas, I was done. But then I saw people drinking this monster, and I had to have one of these margaritas. I don't know if I'm going to be able to finish this thing on top of all that stew. This is crazy insanity. Why would I get this insanely sized margarita after all that soup? What sort of mad insane person would do that? But the Nola gent, for your entertainment, I'm going to make the sacrifice and try to get through this insanely massive margarita that's bigger than my entire head. It's almost as big as the whole top of my body. Oh my gosh, look at this monster. And if you want to talk about serious ice cream brain freeze going on, <laughs> this thing is dangerously giving me an ice cream headache. It's so cold and so full of ice. I'm uh, starting to wonder if uh, it might be more ice than alcohol in here. At least if this thing was more tequila and the margarita, it might be a little easier to drink. But this thing is just so chock full of ice that it's getting frozen. This is such a contrast from going from the piping hot beef stew to this absolutely frozen concoction. I mean, look at this. I, I can't even drink it anymore right now because it's so frozen solid. I don't know if there's uh, any alcohol left hardly at this point. I'm trying hard to get stuff out of the bottom that doesn't seem all the way frozen, but the top of this thing is turned into all those pure ice. I'm not sure uh, I'm getting quite my alcohol value in this big monster. It's, might have to get a spoon to start uh, eating it like a snowball. I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do with this thing. I'm gonna keep stirring it, mixing it, trying to uh, get it a little more liquid so it'll go through the straw. This is definitely one of the most challenging margaritas I've consumed, and I have done some large ones in the past. They just weren't quite this large. Ah, uh, wow, so this is definitely going to be a feat of strength. This is uh, definitely going to have to be added to the New Orleans Legendary Feats of Strength Bar Tour that I'll have to create at some point. So, comment below. Let me know if this is uh, a worthy feat of strength that people should have to do. All right, here's my last swallow of pure ice. Yeah, I finished it. I absolutely destroyed this monster margarita. That is absolutely worthy of a destroy of the subscribe button and a thumbs up of the like button. So go ahead and comment below. Let me know what you thought about this monster margarita. And while you're down there, check out the link to my Patreon account because hey, after the brain freeze I got, I totally need all the help I can get with that. So the total for my meal was $53.23, which was really expensive. And I didn't know that the Monster Margarita cost $29, which I would say is quite overpriced as there wasn't that much alcohol in it. And I barely felt any sort of alcohol buzz after drinking all that huge amount. So Los Panchos, you really need to kick up the alcohol level in that Monster Margarita to truly make it legendary. Or maybe I just got the bottom of the barrel worst serving of the day, so who knows? But thanks so much to everybody at Los Ponchos for all their great food items. And thanks so much to all of you out there for tuning into the Nola Gen channel, especially to my Patreons. Would you kindly share this video with any of your friends or contacts that would enjoy it? And tune in next time for more good food, good times, and good people. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you would just click on the little circle here with a picture of my head in there, and subscribe to the Nola Jet channel, it would really help me a lot. I really appreciate it. Thank you.